everybody, it's Angie from Trips with Angie, and today I'm going to take you through the Secrets All-Inclusive Adults Only Resorts in Riviera Maya and Cancun. One of the big benefits of using a travel agent is I can help you go through the pros and cons of each property. So today we are going to talk about that. How do all of these great resorts compare. So first, we're heading all the way south down to Secrets Akamal. I think one of the best things about this resort is that you can snorkel with turtles right from the beach. How great is that? Now, a few things to know. First is that there is a public beach right next door, so you might see kids and families as you go about your beach business. Also, the preferred club just means you have the best room locations at the resort, and you're about an hour and a half for from the airport, which is great if you want to explore the Mayan ruins, but not great if you're only going for a three night trip. Take a look. Welcome to Secrets Akamal. This is Secrets Akamal. As you can see, it's high rise buildings, about five stories high. And a beautiful beach here in Riviera Maya. This is an adults only, all inclusive property. This is the relax. The locker rooms in the spa. And indoor and outdoor showers. Here's the relaxation area. How nice is this? I love that the, the chairs are shaded. Showers and more lunch clothes, cold plunge pool. Here's the theater where they have a live show every night. Definitely a lot of lush landscaping here. Gives you a little bit of privacy on your balcony from people just walking by. The seaside. This offers a la carte breakfast and lunch. We are towards the beach. There's two pools out here. One that's an infinity pool, we'll see in a minute. And then that has most of the activities and this is the more quiet pool. This is um, their version of an infinity pool. As you can see, there's foliage that kind of black the beach. So it's not a true, like, you're off the edge. But you can see the swimming bar over there. There's a beach volleyball game taking place. And look at that gorgeous water. All right, so here's the beach. It has nice sand, not a lot of coral. Pretty shallow until you head out so you see the seagrass area where all the snorkeling folks are. That's because there's turtles out there. Akamal means turtle. So this is just a great area to go snorkeling. You can tell by the, see how it's in kind of a little cove. Makes it a little bit calmer. So great, great beach zone. Now heading north back towards the airport, there's new exciting news. In 2021, in the fall, a new Secrets Resort is going to be opening. They are refurbishing a large property. It's going to be 671 rooms near Playa del Carmen. It is a golf community resort. It is going to have three levels of service, your junior suites, your preferred club, and then impressions, which are going to be these stunning three and four bedroom top floor suites with butler service. So definitely keep an eye out for that new opening. And now heading a little bit further north to Maroma Beach, it's Secrets Maroma Beach. Now this is my personal favorite. I think it's a fantastic resort. I love the Infinity Edge pool. I think it has lots of great amenities, a good beach area. Take a look. We're gonna start today with a tour of my room and then head to the lobby. So we stayed in 2327, which is a junior suite partial ocean view. Let me show you inside. All right, welcome to Secrets Maroma, a renovated junior suite partial ocean view. First, you have to look at your secret box. So this is where you can ask them to put your room service if you don't feel like heading to the door. Here's the bathroom with the jacuzzi tub, two sinks. You also have the toilet and the rainforest head shower. Then coming out and notice the bathroom is private. You have your closet with robes, safe slippers. You can have a steamer, place to hang up your clothes. I love these new light fixtures. King size bed. Again, this is a renovated room. Watch out for the step down. It lights up automatically. So then coming out here, you have a small little couch area, a tables and chairs, 
And then now this is, remember, partial ocean view, which means like we can see a little bit of the ocean right there. So a mini bar with beer and soda. And look for the opener right there. Coffee machine. Welcome to the lobby. This is where you'll check in. Then down this hall is the cigar shop. And then also the desk for your tour operators. So to book your transfer on the way back or to book any excursions or just down this hallway. This is the lobby bar. And each evening, some type of activities take place from live music to a casino night. Let me show you. So coming around the lobby, we have the sunglasses shop, a jewelry shop, a beachwear shop, and kind of your Mexican souvenirs. This is Sumitsu, this is the Asian and hibachi table. All of the restaurants do not require reservations except for the hibachi tables. So those you'll make with your concierge. And then here are the menu for the Asian restaurant. Now let me go outside and show you the other a la carte restaurants. But before I show you the restaurants, I do want to show you the Coco Cafe and the nightclub. So hold on. Out here to the left, as you face the ocean, is Coco Cafe. Coco Cafe is open 24 hours a day. It has great specialty coffees, teas, you can get alcohol with your coffee, and snacks. In Desire's nightclub, they had a movie night in there, karaoke, and then a disco at 10.30. Now we're going to head straight across the lobby and go check out those a la carte restaurants. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to click my logo in the lower right to subscribe. I post new videos every Tuesday. And here are the three restaurants, Mexican, French, and Italian. Let me show you. Here's a peek at the Mexican a la carte restaurant menu. We definitely want that corn appetizer and the tortilla soup. Those are crowd favorites with everyone we spoke with. The a la carte restaurants do have a dress code, so gentlemen, be sure to bring pants and closed-toed shoes. Now, we noticed they allowed some people wearing shorts to sit outside, but you definitely had to have pants and closed-toed shoes to sit inside. This is the French restaurant Bordeaux. We had the escargot appetizer, the foie gras, the onion soup was very good. I had the catch of the day and my husband had the beef cheeks. The beef cheeks were definitely a favorite, but the escargot was my favorite thing I ate. So there's the foie gras, the catch of the day, and the beef cheeks. And you can't go without dessert, this lovely lemon dessert. Here is Portofino, the Italian restaurant. They have the classic Italian appetizers, soups, risottos, house-made pastas, in addition to traditional pasta dishes. I had the eggplant as an appetizer. I love that they bring out this wheel of Parmesan. The spinach pasta was very good. And for dessert, we had the pistachio ice cream and lemon tart. Okay, so I'm super curious, which one would you pick? Asian, French, Mexican, or Italian? Put it in the comments below. Down these stairs and check out the spa. So here we are at the bottom of the stairs where you will find the spa. These fish pedicures are available at most secret spas. Here's the area for pedicures and manicures. Manicures start about $85 plus tax and tips. Massages start around $115 plus tax and tips. And you get access to the hydrotherapy area. Here's the barber shop, taking a peek at the locker room and the relaxation room. And here is where the massage cabanas are available for your massages. There's also private cabanas for couples massage. The hydrotherapy area here you can get a day pass for $35 or a weekly pass for $295. Alright coming out of the spa we're here at building 21. We are going to head back towards the middle of the resort. Here right under the lobby is the World Cafe with indoor and outdoor dining. They have buffet breakfast and lunch and hope special theme nights a few times a week. 
Inside the buffet, they have four areas where foods are made to order. In the morning, it's eggs, omelets, crepes, and special Mexican dishes. At lunch, it's special Mexican dishes, pastas, and a grill. Then if you keep going, you head into the theater. There was a Beatles theme show, a Jersey Boys show that took place while we were here. Where they have the shows each night, it's open air. Then coming out of the theater, you'll notice that there's a covered walkway on each end of the lobby so that you can get to and from the lobby to your room undercover in case it's raining. And here's a good overview of the property. So we are right here near the theater. And then here's the motor court where you pull up, the tennis courts, and the buildings. You'll note all of the buildings have swim up suites on the first floor. These two buildings at the end on either side are the preferred club buildings. So one of the big benefits you get is the room location, as well as a la carte breakfast and access to the hydrotherapy circuit. And then heading back towards the main lobby, you'll come across the fitness center. All right, we're back just by the lobby. They have smoking areas noted across the property you cannot smoke in your room or on your terrace and you only can smoke in these designated areas as we, head as we walk the towards the beach i want to point out there's the vegetation around, around those first around floor swim-up suites that gives you more of a garden setting than you just so swimming like next to a walkway since these are the set time. a little bit further back from the beach i like that it gives you that privacy this area is known as the Zen Garden. While we were here, there was a yoga class and a painting class with wine and cheese. I really like the emphasis on vegetation. Coming up on Sugar Reef Bar. This is kind of the sports bar. So a lot of folks hang out here in the late afternoon, play games. Let me show you what they have inside. They have basketball, ping pong, pool table, and then TVs showing sporting events. Plus the swings. Everybody loves the swings. It's a good spot if you're in a group to play cards. Also a bungee trampoline that's open sometimes. And then as I said before, one of my favorite things was the amount of activities you can do. Yoga, jungle bike tour, tennis, stretching, horseshoes, Spanish lessons, volleyball, both beach and pool, kayak tour, Today is the foam party that's only once a week, sculpt and archery. And they have programs available. And I like that they have both the sunny day and the rainy day program. They also have it on a tablet in your room and you can use an app. So lots of things to do here. Over here's the mini golf course for those of you who wanna work on your putting while you're here. lots of hammocks for those of you who have better balance than I do. So this main plaza where the hammocks are around, they turned this into this great Mexico party one of the nights we were here. They set up tables, they had a buffet, they had games you could play, a mariachi band, folklore dancing. So those are the theme nights that take the place of having the buffet open. So the World Cafe is not open for dinner, but they do have buffets some nights down at the beach here in this plaza that are a lot of fun. Now we're gonna head over to Barefoot Grill. On your way to Barefoot Grill, you notice there's these hidden whirlpools. They're on both sides of the pool, and I think it's a cute little hideaway. Most people don't notice them. So if you're really looking for somewhere secluded just to relax, this is a good spot. Here is the pizza station. It's small, personal sized pizza. And then here is Barefoot Grill. There's two pools. They're both shaped like a half moon. So here's the first one. And then you can see there that's Oceana and Seaside Restaurants. Oceana is available for a la carte breakfast for preferred club guests. That's the Swim Up Bar. Top shelf liquor here, Grey Goose, Johnny Walker Black, lots of tequilas and rums you can choose from. And then this is Barracuda Bar help service the pools. We were very impressed by both the pool service and the beach service with the waiters. So let's head down to the beach. Like I said these buildings on the end are preferred club. Now you can see these swim up suites are beachfront but you don't have that clear path right onto the beach that you may have at some other resorts. 
I like it because it's private. The vegetation protects you from people who may be walking by on the beach, but some people do like walking straight out into the sand, into the ocean. These beds are first come first serve, but there are some cabanas on the beach that do have an extra fee and I'll show you what those are. So towels and shower. Here we are down at the beach. Maroma Beach is consistently ranked one of the top beaches in the world. You can see they have badminton and beach volleyball. The tractors are removing seaweed. It has been a heavy, heavy seaweed year in Riviera Maya, Mexico. They are doing the best they can. They were out every morning trying to clear the beaches. Um, some days were better than others. And there is a little bit clearer about 10 minutes up the beach. Here are the beachfront cabanas. These are available for rent for $50 a day. I think that's so reasonable. You have dedicated wait staff. You can get food delivered down here based on your order. There's bar service available. So a great way to have a reserve spot right on the beach. They're very popular the day after the foam party as people just want to relax. And then down here's the beach bar again with those swings that everyone loves. The beach and pool service was very good when we were here, very attentive, um, definitely continued to check on us throughout the day. And then over here, you're going to find the sports center. So this is where you can take out the non-motorized sports, the kayaks, the sailboats, the paddle boards. They offer kayak tours almost every day to help you if you haven't tried kayaking before. So now headed back up towards the resort. Another peek at those swim up suites. These are the oceanfront swim up suites with the larger suites available. Here they've set up for a morning class and you can see a better look at that half moon pool. So this is the part without the swim up bar that has the infinity edge right up to the sand. And then these day beds are first come first serve. You don't need to rent these. They're around what we like to call the activity area. This is where the badminton is. There's a spike it, there's cornhole. So lots of activities right here. There's, this is also where some cats hang out. So if you are not a cat person, you may want to reconsider setting up camp here for the day. And again, here's the swim up bar right by Seaside and Oceana restaurants. Seaside and Oceana are available for a la carte dinner and Seaside. Here's a peek at the Oceana dinner menu. We had a lovely meal here. I really enjoyed the crab soup and the catch of the day. Here's the dessert menu. The meal started with the little amuse bouche meatball, which was just really cute. And then I had the tuna tartare, the catch of the day. Now here we are at Seaside for a la carte lunch. Again, can't get enough of the tuna, the octopus, or the tacos. We had so much octopus and even some chicken wings. One of the buildings is closed right now as they renovate all the rooms. And then this little hut is where you sign up for snorkeling, diving, or different types of excursions. And then also right behind Seaside Grill, there's some little vendors if you wanna buy some souvenirs. And that is it. Welcome to Secrets Maroma. Now heading a little bit further north is Secrets Riviera Cancun. This may be a new name to you. Since Secrets Capri closed as a Secrets, they wanted to make a new boutique property that was all preferred club again. So Secrets took over what used to be the Exhale Club rooms at Breathless Riviera Cancun. So this resort is going to be a great option if you like that small boutique feel. All the rooms are preferred club. You, it has one restaurant that's available, or you can head over and enjoy some of the restaurants on the breathless side of the resort. I think this is a great choice if you like to go between having personalized service in a smaller resort setting and then dip into the party that is breathless. It's kind of a best of both worlds. Now, the beach isn't great here, so I just want you to keep that in mind. It's very narrow and eroded, so if you're a big beach person, this isn't gonna be the best choice, but if you like the pool, relaxing, beautiful suites, I think you're really gonna like this resort. All right, heading a little further north towards the airport is Secrets the Vine Cancun. This is in the hotel zone of Cancun. It's a high rise and this resort just makes me think of Vegas. It's shiny and glitzy. You absolutely must book the preferred club here because you have access to a rooftop 
cool. Now, the one thing you need to know is that this doesn't have a swim up bar. So just keep that in mind. And the pool areas can get a bit crowded, but it has tons of space on the beach. But I want to give you a peek at that Preferred Club rooftop pool. It's awesome. We're in the special Preferred Club area. This is an area as part of the Preferred Club perks. When you book a Preferred Club room, you have a restaurant up here. And then obviously look at this great rooftop infinity pool. How gorgeous is this? This is amazing. And last but not least is Secrets Playa Mujeres. This is in the gated community of Playa Mujeres, north of the Cancun airport. I love this resort. I stay there during COVID. They did a terrific job. It has a large winding pool. It has an incredible beach area. Full cool things to know here is I highly recommend booking the Preferred Club because that gives you access to the bally beds around the pool and the beach. Now, the one kind of bummer about this resort is the half of the restaurants are a golf cart right away. So the resort has the lobby, the nightclub, the spa, and four of the resorts up on the hill because they kept the natural mangroves. So those are all up on the hill. And then down by the rooms are more, more restaurants, the beach, and the pools. So you definitely don't have to ever go up there during your stay. But if you do want to check it out, I think it gives it a really cool vibe because you feel like you're going out. Uh, but you do have to take the golf carts around. So here, enjoy this full tour. Welcome to Secrets Playa Mujeres. This was filmed in mid-October 2020, so it is during the COVID protocols, but just after Hurricane Delta. Let's take a look. At check-in, you'll be asked to sanitize your hands, your shoes, your temperature will be taken, and you'll fill out a health questionnaire. The resort is split into two different areas. Up near the lobby is where we're exploring now. So this area has some of the restaurants, the nightclub, and the spa. You take a golf cart in between the two, and I'll show you what that looks like a little later. Here's the theater where evening shows take place. They may have a singer or a production. They have a burlesque show, as you can see. Sometimes they have a retro night with a DJ. They have Secrets Idol where you get to show off your karaoke skills and then just a number of different activities all day long. Right next to the theater is Desire's Nightclub. Right now it's kind of a sports bar during COVID. The local government restricts how late this area can be opened because again they're trying to keep from large groups of people gathering, drinking, particularly late in the evening. Just down the stairs from the nightclub you'll find the Italian a la carte restaurant Portofino. If beef carpaccio is your thing or asabuco, it was very good here. It had indoor and outdoor seating. Next door is Bordeaux, the French a la carte restaurant. Same, both indoor and outdoor seating. And during our visit, because it was so hot, they did allow shorts at the outdoor dining. This is Hamatsu Terrace. While we were there, there was a violin player in the early evening or a saxophone player. There's a couple shops in case you wanted to buy some souvenirs or you forgot something. And then here is the Hamatsu Asian restaurant. The Asian restaurant has three different areas. So it has the sushi bar where you can sit inside with the sushi master. It has this outdoor dining area where you can order off the menu. You can also sit here indoors and order off the menu or there's teppanyaki tables. The teppanyaki tables do require a reservation. Spa services are not included, but you can access the hydrotherapy area if you booked a preferred club room one time per stay. There's the revived juice bars if you want to have some healthy beverages. And then here is the hydrotherapy area. It is all outdoors, so they've been able to keep it open. You see it has the warm pools, the cold pools, the saunas, the steam rooms, as well as the jacuzzis. Just past the spa, you'll find another one of the gift shops. This is more resort wear, as well as the United Vacation Club office and the gym. The gym was open during our stay. They were restricting how many people could access the gym at one time. It was restricted to eight people during our stay. Then just past the gym, you'll find a basketball court, a tennis court, and a batting cage. Now, to get from this area up top of the hill down to the rooms, you'll take a golf cart. So you can see here, this is a little preview of your golf cart ride. It's about like a two to three minute ride. I will warn you, it does get to be quite a long line to transfer from down by the room in the pools up to the restaurant in the evenings, especially around 7, 7.30. You could have 20 to 30 people in line. Well, we were there 
occupancy was restricted to 50%, but I could see when it was at full occupancy, you probably would be waiting for quite a bit to catch a golf cart. Now, next door to Secrets is the Dreams Resort. You can see kind of a peak of that here. Dreams is a family resort. Staying at Secrets, you do have access to all of the restaurants and amenities at Dreams. So that basically doubles the amount of restaurants you can try during your visit. They also have a Mexican, a French. They have a Brazilian restaurant, a Mediterranean restaurant. You're getting a little peak of the water slide there that is over on the Dreams side. Here's a peek at one of the golf carts for luggage. So basically when you check in, they'll take your luggage down to this level and then you'll take a golf cart shuttle to meet another bellman down here. Right as you enter to the right is gonna be your preferred club lounge. This is a perk for guests who book a preferred club room. Across the way is the rendezvous lounge and bar. This is open to all guests in the evening. Right next door to Rendezvous, you'll find the Coco Cafe. You know I love my double espressos in the morning. Also, a lot of really good sweet treats here, and they put out fruit as well. Market Cafe is the buffet. Uh, they are serving you at this time during COVID. El Patio is the Mexican a la carte restaurant, and then here are the pools. The pool here is huge and seems to stretch almost the entire resort. It was very easy to find a chair. Basically, the half of the pool that was closest to the restaurants was empty every day. People kind of pick their chairs near the swim up bar. Um, as you head towards the beach on the right side, you'll go by Seaside Grill. This is open for lunch and dinner, a la carte steakhouse in the evening. And again, it has both indoor and outdoor seating, which was great during COVID. Another peak of that huge pool as you go up to to Bar Manatee, which is the swim up bar that is um, it closest to the ocean, just to kind of give you an orientation. And then there's one more pool that goes up right up to the edge. Now that is pretty shallow there at the edge and you see those belly beds, those are available for an extra charge. Otherwise these belly beds um, back are available for preferred club guests. Now here is a beautiful overview of the beach. The beach really sets this resort apart. And right below this area are the master suites. So we'll get another peek of those coming back from the beach. So heading down to the beach, you'll walk through where they've kept the natural vegetation. It's actually really good they kept it. It helps prevent erosion during hurricanes. You see there is the beach volleyball setup, your chairs and umbrellas. There is service to your chair. While we were there, there was a, just a little bit of seaweed every morning. They'd come through with a tractor and clean that all up. But the water's calm, very easily swimmable. We saw people out with kayaks and paddle boards during the day. Lots of space for you to enjoy. And then here are those bally beds for the preferred club members. So again, if you book a preferred club room, that is a perk of that. And of course, you have to have your beach bar with swings in order to be a true all-inclusive resort. I love hanging out on those swings. So here's a peek at that master suite. So you have your own pool. So we're coming up the stairs and heading all the way to the right as you face the resort is Oceana. This is open for lunch and dinner and has a fantastic octopus entree for lunch. Now heading back towards the resort, there's another bar as well as snack area. This snack menu is available to order at your chair, so your tacos and your nachos. Now let's take a look at a room. This is a junior suite swim up. So you have your Nespresso machine, your beer, water, sodas as part of your mini bar as well as your bathroom. All of your amenities will be wrapped in plastic so you know they've been sanitized. You have a standalone shower as well as a jacuzzi tub that can look into the room if you want, but it doesn't have to. This room has two beds. It also comes with a king bed. These rooms have the iPads. So you can look up the schedule and order room service. And then here is your swim up. The swim ups are all pretty much tropical or resort views and they are heated. So that is Secrets Plan with Harris. What did you think? Let me know in the comments. All right, now you've seen them all. What one would you pick? Let me know in the comments. Thanks.